Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November. So, a lot of you are going to be watching this in October. It's for November, all right? So, let's just see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November. What do we have for Virgo? Ah! Trapped in fear. Trapped in fear. This is the Eight of Swords. Okay. So, somebody is trapped in fear. They're having a lot of mental conflict. It's like they are... This is almost like... Uh, trapped in prison. Okay, it's like imprisoned by fear, by thoughts, by worry. Eights are a number of the time is now. The time is now to do something. Okay, so you are going to need to overcome your fear. Your There's extreme worry here. This looks like that somebody is locked up, but I don't know who that is. I don't think it's you. Um, Eight of Swords. Mm, as an obstacle, which is fear. Fear is in the way. Very, very worried. It feels like we're guilty as well. You may be feeling guilty about doing something. You know, should you, should I or shouldn't I? That's what it looks like. Should I or shouldn't I? So you may be feeling guilty um, about something. But eights do signify go ahead. Go ahead. All right. The time is now when you see eight. Okay, um, you're probably thinking about your co the consequences, okay, you know, the infinite effects of whatever it is that you're, you're doing, okay, you're thinking about the consequences, should I, should I, or shouldn't I, so that's what this is about, you're going to be really worried about a choice that you have to make that ha does involve change okay it may be affecting other people and so you're you know trying to decide you know what is the best move for everybody involved so what do we have for Virgo what do we have for Virgo The magician. This is a yes answer. Yes. This is do it. You have the resources. You have the power. You have everything you need to succeed. So when you get the magician, that's a yes to any question that you had. You're worried about something? Stop worrying. Just do it. This is just do it. It is. Take action. Okay? This is a... Uh, need to be strong you have a golden opportunity here it looks like there's some sort of planting going on uh, digging you're creating something something is about to grow you're planting seeds right now you're planting oh look at the yes I just I've never seen the yes on this card until now. It will. It will come. Hold on. Can you see it? Maybe if I go back and come up a little bit slower. There you go. Now you can see it. See, it says yes. The answer is yes. So, <laughs> this is a time of growth for you. Something that, you know, you're planting seeds. They are going to grow. This, you're taking action is going to bring you success. You're going to be successful in whatever this is. Here, this is yes. This is fantastic. So um, this is a golden opportunity. Your this is uh, de your determination. Your hard work is going to pay off. This is somebody that is creative that invents things. You know that grows things. 
you're going to be going through a period of growth this month. You're going to, something that you asked for, you are going to get. This is manifestation, okay? Interesting. So you're about to receive something that you asked for. Stop worrying about it. You're going to get it, whatever it is. That's way too many. We don't. These cards are so hard. Oh, there we go. We're just gonna take those two. We need to have faith and trust. Door. Opportunities are waiting for you. May you may be walking through a new door. Dagger. Fears, worries, tense situations. This makes we got one right here, and we got one right here. So you've got some, ex you're going through some uh, tense situations, obviously. You may be, it feels like you're feeling guilty. It feels like you may be feeling guilty for something. It feels like you're, you're you, I don't know if you're having regrets or you're feeling ashamed or like you did something wrong. That's what it looks like to me. I feel like you're in some sort of tense situation where maybe you're feeling like it's all your fault. I don't think it's your fault. You might have to remind yourself of that. People might be blaming you for things, and you may be thinking that it is, but it's not. Anyway, I feel like you're, and this is, or this could just be your own fears. It's your own thoughts. I think that you are probably in a tense situation that, you know, is weighing you down, and uh, you're feeling it. You're feeling it very deeply. But this is a golden opportunity, and this is a new doorway that is opening. So things are happening in unison. Okay, you may be very worried about this new opportunity, about going through this new door. You maybe feel guilty about it. You maybe there's a new door opening and you feel guilty. I, I imagine that is the case. So I feel like um, you you've manifested something and and you you may be worried about how it's going to affect everybody else. But something between you and a child as well, which is interesting. Um, You asked for this. This is what you asked for. Let go of your fears. Just do it. You have all the resources. You're in control. You're in charge of your thoughts. Don't let this fear hold you back. Just do it. You're going to be so happy when you go through that door. Whatever that door is. So what do we got? Um, maybe it has something to do with relocation. Um, you're definitely going to be smiling. I see a smile here. I feel like you're going to be very happy with the results. You may be fearful, you know, that you aren't going to have good results. You are going to have good results, okay? I do see you being very, very worried, but having good results, so... Let go of your fear. Five of Pentacles. So this is begging of some sort, victim mentality. Um, mm, five of Pentacles. Struggling. Struggling to ask for help. You may be, some of you may be struggling financially. Not all of you. Um, uh, five of Pentacles, that's some sort of struggle. It could be a mental struggle. It could be a struggle within yourself. Struggle, struggle about uh, asking for help or something. You, it feels like you, you might need to ask for some help from somebody. And I don't know, I don't th for some of you it may be financial help, but for some of you, I don't know, maybe it's support of some sort. And you don't, you don't like to ask anybody for help. You don't want anybody to, you, you're strong, right? You don't want to ask anybody for help. I don't like asking anybody for help. I just don't do it myself. Okay, so this is, this is, um, outcast, you know? But choosing to be, you may be choosing to uh, be an outcast, choosing not to 
uh, involve others or something like that. Um, <laughs> I can't get that card. Ace of Cups reverse. So that's sad. Uh, tears, emotional, emotional blockage, uh, heart, you know, uh, blocking your emotions. You know, so somebody is blocking your their emotions right here. Something about heart. Um, loss of emotional content. Emotional blockage. Shutting down emotionally. Somebody may need, need to get their heart checked as well. Just saying. Anyway, this is an emotional blockage of some sort. Uh, not listening to your heart. Not following your heart. This is insecurity. Um get prepared this is getting prepared hope for the best focus on the future um something is coming something is coming somebody may be traveling you may be moving you may be leaving something behind this is travel uh, or moving uh planning waiting there's an arrival of some sort what you've been waiting for the time has finally come You've been waiting for this. Now it's time. Uh, three of Wands reversed. You've waited for this, and usually I say get prepared, and I'd like to say that, but I think you, I think that uh, something you've been waiting for is arriving. It's right there. It's right in front of you. Here it is. This is what you've waited for. You may be very emotional. You may be, because this is this is like a flood of emotion. The Ace of Cups reversed or upright, but. Um, now this, the star is help. It is help. It's help arriving. It's being guided, blessed, healing. This is a blessing. This is, this is protected. A wish being granted again. It's something you asked for. You asked for this. Here it is. This is your wish. This is your fairy godmother granting your wish. This is what you've waited for. You may be very emotional. Looks like you're receiving something. You're receiving some some sort of help or some sort of offer from somebody. And it's like you don't like it because somebody's giving you something and you don't like that shit. So uh, somebody, if it does, it feels like somebody is trying to give you something. You're trying to block it. You know, you're trying to block this, you know. But this is what you asked for. So that's interesting. Uh, now, the star card is a card of purpose. It's a card of wish fulfillment. Guaranteed success. You are, and the magician is success as well. So, you're going to be successful in whatever this new endeavor is. It feels like you're being called to let go of your fears and just do it. Whatever this is, just do it. Let go of your fears. Don't second guess yourself. And I feel like you have been second guessing yourself. Um, you may be worried about your heart probably whether you're going to heal or not i think you are probably going to heal you know i think there's healing here the star card is a card of healing it's a card of renewal guaranteed success now the the star card is also a blessing in disguise after the tower falls so you may be experiencing a tower moment that makes you feel or you may have experienced or you may be experiencing it during this month where you have felt abandoned you've been neglected you're feeling like a victim you're very emotional you're unable to master your emotions you're feeling very alone and you know everything happens for a reason um but that's a blessing after the tower falls because the, 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 you, you may have experienced a moment that made you feel all those feelings, but it happened for a reason because the star card is a, is a reason. It happened for a purpose because you're being guided in a new direction. You are. This is being guided. This is, this is shining. And you think about the star, you're looking up in the sky. You, you, I mean, it can guide you in a new direction. You are being guided in a new direction. Um... This is expansion, expanding yourself. Um, now, this is hoping and praying for the best. And this is your prayers being answered. Your prayers are going to be answered. They hear your prayers. I know that they do. So, I feel like you don't have anything to worry about. Let go of your worries. I know that you're very worried. You may be worried about, you know, your heart or your healing. Or if you're ever going to heal, you are going to heal. Okay? 
Um, anyhow, I don't know how that resonates with you, but Three of Wands is get prepared for something you have been waiting for. Okay, the time is now. Woo, exciting opportunity. Um, shining. You are absolutely going to be shining as well. This is a star. Stars shine. They shine very, very bright. So you are going to, everybody's going to be really noticing you. They're going to notice you. You're going to be very noticeable. Um, this is very bright as well. This is a, a, a sudden new drive, a sudden new spark, a new desire, uh, a new connection. This is on fire. Okay. Um, very, very passionate, uh, passionate new beginning, exciting new beginning. This could be a new sexual partner for some of you. This is definitely a just go for it card. This is, this is an opportunity for a fresh start. This is very, very, very exciting. Something is, you're going to be looking as, looking very attractive for one thing. Okay. Cause this is looking and this is attractive. Um, I feel like you're going to be on fire. This month, I feel like you're going to be on fire. I feel like you're going to be uh, absolutely glowing as well. I, I just, I just got to throw that out there. I do. I think that uh, uh, you do got a new exciting opportunity right in front of you, and it may, it may uh, have to do with your health even because I see healing, and this is a very, this is very healthy. You know, it's a very healthy energy. You will probably be vibrating at a higher level. It's like your vibration may be changing. This is a very positive energy, thinking positive. This goes from victim mentality to thinking positive. So your, your thinking may change. You may start the month out with being insecure, being in worry to this, and definitely negative to positive. So it absolutely makes sense. Your, your whole mindset is definitely going to change so that is fantastic um so i think we have a tower moment that does you know uh well there's an event that makes you feel i don't know makes you feel guilty or makes you feel worried or something like that but it all happened for a reason and now you have a more positive outlook it changed your outlook in some way you are definitely headed towards a, a new opportunity that could really grow into something uh <laughs> that you become very passionate about this is very very passionate um mm, your prayers are being heard as well definitely your prayers are being heard you're being guided you're protected so in case you didn't know Ooh, five of swords. Now this is walking away. I feel like you're you're gonna need to walk away. You may need to admit defeat and walk away. Walk away from somebody, you know, somebody that doesn't have any conscience. This is somebody that is uh out for number one. I feel like you have been in a very tense, hostile situation with somebody. There's been a lot of fighting and you may be heartbroken. This is heartbroken. Heartbroken to have to walk away. If you can't, there's no sense in fighting. You can't win. You, you can't, you, you got to walk away. Definitely a power struggle. You've been struggling with somebody and I feel like it's definitely heartbreaking. Um, but it's time to change. It's time to break free. Your freedom is waiting. So I feel like you are going to be walking away from an individual that uh, probably doesn't reciprocate in the love department. You know, they don't reciprocate at all. They may play a victim, you know, towards you or they may have a victim mentality or whatever. Or they made you make you feel guilty or they or something like that. You are definitely dealing with somebody that... Uh, Likes to fight, put it that way. Definitely likes to fight and likes to be the victim and is the victim and is always the victim. Um, some sort of abuse. That Five of Swords is abuse. And you have to walk away from this abuse. You have to leave this abuse behind. So you're going to have to have faith. I, there could be a fight as well with that Five of Swords. There could be an argument that... Um, 
that could be your tower moment. This could be your tower moment over here where there's some sort of battle, there's some sort of fight, and you know, you there's tears with that ace of cups. The ace of cups in reverse is tears, you know. There's tears that are shattered. It's very, very emotional, you you know, and you just decide that you gotta go. It's time to go. I gotta go now. And this is now. This is a very sudden energy. I gotta go right now. Okay? So something could happen very suddenly. There could be a sudden departure. A sudden departure. Okay? Or a sudden arrival. Could go either way. Whatever this is, this is a wish being granted. Okay? This is something that you have always wanted, you've always wished for. But this is a very sudden, a very, this is a sudden departure or arrival. I think that, uh, your wish has been granted, okay? Ah, jeez, some girl. Five, five, five. Five, 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 because you needed that. Anyhow, five, five, five is change, okay? It's expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. Your life is about to change, but you are protected because that, that's, that star card is protection, okay? I feel like there's there's some sort of help arriving. There is a lot of regrets. There's sadness. There's tears. There's grieving. There's grieving. And and there, it feels like there's an emotional loss here. That's an emotional loss, okay? I feel like there's the, you are dealing with somebody that you cannot win. You can't win with this person. They don't listen. They're very egotistical. They have a victim mentality. They love to fight and they've been they've been it almost feels like emotional blackmail. They've been they've been emotionally blackmailing you. Anyhow, I feel like this is really sad, and I think you've been focused on this person for some time. Um, but there's another opportunity for love, and it is it's you. But you you you're missing it. Okay, you haven't seen it. You've been focusing so much on this loss, so much on this heartache, so mo so much on this pain that you have neglected yourself. You've neglected to see that you do have another opportunity. You have another opportunity waiting for you. All you have to do is go in another direction. So I feel like as soon as you turn around, as soon as you leave, you know, and, and uh, turn your back, you run into something... Uh, that lights a fire, you know, it lights a fire within you, okay? Whatever this is, as soon as you decide to look in another direction fully, that means fully, that means you're not looking back. As soon as you get on board, as soon as you are headed out, as soon as you are focused on the future and not the past, now that means you're not asking questions about the past, you're not going back to the past when you are completely focused on the future you have a new opportunity that shows up immediately um, it's right there i mean it is like right when you cross the border so um whatever that means to you it's like right or when you get on board okay because this is getting on board as soon as you get on board as soon as you decide okay that you're gonna stop focusing on this painful situation and you focus on the future you got this exciting opportunity right in front of you and you're gonna see it so clear it's just gonna your eyes are gonna be on it instantly it's like wow that's how quick it's just like oh my god so you're gonna see it it's it's, it's very uh attractive okay whatever this is but I don't think right now you've you you haven't been ready for it you've been you've been in some sort of state of mind where it's been oh I can't I can't I can't I can't do it oh yes you can yes you can um, anyhow so November you have a wish that is being granted uh, you're being called to focus on the future Page of Swords. So, Page of Swords. Now, somebody is watching you. Somebody is very curious. You may be, I don't even know, you, you could even have a stalker. Okay, you may have a stalker. This could be a spy. This could be an investigator. This is, it doesn't have to be a stalker. This could be somebody that is very interested in you. Some, but this is somebody that is very curious, that wants to communicate, that probably has a hard time communicating. This could be somebody that hurts you. Okay, somebody that uh, they know that they hurt you, or so, this could be somebody new that knows that you are hurting. Okay, looks like this person knows that you are hurting. Okay, they see that you're hurting. So I don't know whose message that is for. 
Um, the Page of Swords is usually some sort of conflict. You may be receiving a message from somebody that you don't want to hear. Okay? You may. And, and fives are about personal freedom. Okay? So, uh, you may be broken free from somebody. Okay? You may, this may even have something to do with a child. Somebody that is younger than you. Pages are typically younger. Um... But fives are also about divinely guided major life changes. And, and then we have divinely guided and all these fives, major life changes. So you are being called to make a major life change and hope for the best. And trust and have faith that you are being guided in that direction that you are protected. Okay? You have another opportunity that is waiting for you. Have faith. Have faith. Whatever it is that you asked for is going to grow. And it is going to grow very, 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 very fast. Okay? Um, I think the question is, should I do this? Yes. The answer is yes. You will be extremely happy that you did. Good luck.